Thank you for choosing Purple Pass Ticketing. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Purple Pass backend. My name's Jordan, and I'm going to help you out today. So first, we're starting off at the My Events tab. This is kind of like your homepage, where all your events live in chronological order. You have a summary of your sales. You have the date of the event, and then quick dashboard buttons like stats, editing the events, copying them over. Venue, you can always edit a venue or the manage the venue if it's an assigned seating event. And then you can order ticket stock through us. We're compatible with Boca tickets, and we also have our own full color custom tickets. You can batch order through us. Also, you have this day of event button. This has all of your lists automatically updating for you in real time. The master list has every um, person for your event, and then these are individual lists broken out for you. And then we have our box office button, which I'll get into shortly. This allows you to sell tickets at the door. It's an interface for day of the event. Creating the events is very simple. We have one-time events, recurring events, and we also have passes and packages. A one-time event would be any one-off date. A recurring event would be like a musical or play where they have the same show but multiple performances throughout a weekend or a week run. And then passes and packages. Packages would be like a family four-pack where you're selling four tickets for the price of a flat rate. And then passes would be like season passes where you can sell one ticket to each show for a whole season. Creating the events is simple. We have how-to guides along the way to tell you what you're filling out and why. And we mark what's required and what's not. So when you quickly fill out the page, it shouldn't take too long, and you can mark all of the information that is required so that you can expedite the creation process. Location information, this is basically all of your address information. Venue capacity, this controls your overall capacity for the event. And ticket pricing and options, this is the real heart of it all. In ticket pricing and options, you have two options, general admission or assigned seating. If it's general admission, you can use the general admission ticket type we have for you, or you can name the ticket whatever you'd like by choosing user defined. So let's say this is an adult ticket. Then you would establish the price by putting the price in the dollar amount here. And if you want to add description information. And if you want to add additional ticket types, there's no restrictions. You can just hit this add ticket type button here. And let's say it's a student price. Delivery options, most by default are print at home and will call. And will call just means everything is saved on a list so it saves paper. Print, home, print at home means everyone gets emailed the ticket directly to them and they would show that on their phone or print that out and you would scan that at the door to check them in. Coupon codes, you can create a code of whatever you'd like. Um, let's say it's for that student ticket type. Maybe we're going to give them $5 off instead of creating a ticket type for them. So student 5 would be what they type in to receive their discount. And in this case, it would be a $5 off each ticket discount. We also have percentage off discounts and combo deals like buy one, get one. You can also create restrictions down here in this gray box. So maybe you want to make it valid for a maximum of two tickets, or you want a specific state range where the discount is applicable for. Additional media. We have media integrations where you can add photos and images and graphics like logos to your purchase path. The event photo is the main photo. It's kind of like an icon. It's a square photo. It's kind of like the profile picture of your event page. Whereas the header image is a big wide photo that goes on top of the page. It's kind of like your cover photo for a Facebook profile. And then the background image, well, that just fills in on the sides here anywhere you see this gray. It'd be good if it's a color or pattern or maybe even a landscape photo. 
The rest of this is additional media and additional options, including Facebook integrations, adding custom notice of terms and conditions so you can add your own custom terms. And then the rest of it down here, some more customizations I'll get to in a second. Um, we do have custom checkout questions, so you can ask any sort of question. It could be as simple as, how did you hear about us? And you can download the answers to these questions, and you can require these questions so that you have to get this information. And you can choose the type of response that they give, whether it's a text, which means fill in the blank, or a checkbox. Maybe um, you want to give them a multiple choice question. And you can ask questions on top of questions. And you can require all questions. So it's very simple and gets the job done. It's very clean. So that's the creation of an event page. It may take 15 to 20 minutes at the very most.